Hi guys, nice having you all here today. My old subscribers, thank you. And to those that are visiting here for the first time, or you've been visiting but you've not subscribed, please take this time to hit on the subscribe button, also the notification bell, so you get notified each time we upload a new video. And to my new subscribers, I want to say thank you. Guys, let's get into today's discussion. It appears to be a very sad and painful news. This lady is a very popular lady in Nigeria and because of the position or the role she plays in the society. She is usually called the Sunshine Queen's FC of Akure and she is their goalkeeper. It's so sad that this particular Sunshine Queen, but her real name is Elizabeth Johnson, who went on to have her training and the unfortunate thing happened. She is actually born in Kogi State and has been a goalkeeper for so many years right now. But unfortunately, it's so sad to announce that right after her training, just on Saturday, March 19, 2022 in Akure, she just had a brief illness after this training. And guess what, guys? This lady died instantly. Everybody is very, very shocked, especially those that trained with her, that she was okay, strong and fine. And for them to hear that right after the training, she fell ill briefly and died. That is something that has raised a lot of questions. A lot of friends and fans and even her fellow players said she is very active and very strong. So for them to come and hear now that this same lady has passed away, it's difficult for them to even believe that it has happened to her. Also, her death was announced in a statement that was signed by the club's head of media and publicity, that's Femi Atulagwe. The statement added that this particular goalkeeper, who was held and healthy and even trained with them on Friday, all that she complained about was fever and dizziness that was all and guys we can see how this life can be you're seeing someone today the next second it's just nothing you can even think of or anything you can predict not even her own fellow players whom she was playing with knew that this lady would not live to see the end of the weekend it's really sad no one is still yet to believe that this lady has gone. You know that this kind of death that you would hear, you'd be like, it's not true. I just spoke with this person or I just saw this person. Even when you're seeing the cops, you still find it hard to believe that this same person is no longer alive. Imagine the heartbreak and the pain that the family is going through. And this was the exact statement that was released that made a lot of people believe that it is true she is gone because at first nobody believed they thought it was just a prank or at some point they felt okay someone is not getting it right there's a mistake of another person it's not really the lady elizabeth that they just left after this training but when they saw this statement they said they are in belief that this lady is no longer alive this was the exact statement that was released very heartbreaking sunshine queens lost one of its goalkeepers elizabeth johnson to the cold hands of death moments ago johnson who was hale and healthy trained with the team yesterday at the ondo state sports complex akure she earlier in the day complained of feeling feverish and dizzy she was being taken to the hospital where she gave up the ghosts on the way players officials and management are still in shock so guys this was the only information that made people to believe that it is true that if it's not true they won't release this on the news and you can imagine she just complained of headache and dizziness she didn't even get to the hospital she died on her way to the hospital 
That is why he said we should always appreciate the moment you share with our loved ones because no one can even say what would happen to them the minute you turn your back. Up till now that I speak with you, her fellow players are still in very serious shock, trying to figure out what really happened to this strong young woman. It's really painful, you know, when you're used to someone, you guys do a lot of things together and you hear that this person is not alive anymore. It's difficult for you to live in that moment. You'll be struggling with yourself and trying to find closure like, so this person is gone for life. I would not see or hear from this person again. That is when those things will start dawning on you. You start recounting times and moments you had shared together. But it's unfortunate that generally in life, we cannot turn back the hands of time and wish someone who has died should come back again to life. Friends, it's an opportunity for us to just keep on praying and appreciating our loved ones. In fact, a lot of things are happening. Families are losing loved ones every now and then. It's so sad because no one deserves to be in pain as a result of the death of someone you share moments with, of someone you have close ties and moments with. It's really, really painful. Let's all watch out for each other. If someone is saying, I'm not feeling fine, something is wrong with me, that minute, please let's not take it for granted. Let's seek for help immediately because no one knows how or when anything would happen to each and every one of us. But we keep praying and asking for God's protection upon our lives, upon our family members, upon our friends, and upon our loved ones. May the soul of Elizabeth Johnson rest in peace with the Lord. May Almighty God console her family members, her friends, her fellow colleague in the sports industry, everyone that knew her, may God console them all. It's really a very difficult moment for a lot of people right now. Guys, let's all be prayerful. Nice having you all here today. Please, before you leave, do not forget to hit on the subscribe button, also the notification bell, so you get notified each time we upload a new video. Thank you. God bless you all.